Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. My name is Widget. As you guys all know, today guys, bringing you guys another video. And then the reason I'm talking so quietly is again tonight, I'm making this video very, very late and people are sleeping. That's why I'm talking so low. But anyway, guys, of course, I did in my last video, the guns patch. Now I'm going to add on to that and tell you about the score streaks patch the score streaks that got patched and the score streaks that got buffed so we knew about this it was hinted by Vonderhaar that there would be a score streak patch and buff within a tweet that he tweeted out to one of his fans or one of the people that asked him a question so anyway guys without further ado let's get onto the score streaks that got buffed and nerfed so here we go starting off to the HCXD it got explosive damage increased. I do not know why Vonderhaar has chosen to do that. Because the R6D is always the best streak in the game. And absolutely just, it gets a kill every time. It's just so, damage radius is just ridiculous. And it's so hard to shoot. For some reason, it's just, I don't know if it's because it's hovering. But it's just ridiculously hard to shoot. Next up, guys, we have the Dark. Explosive damage increase for collision explosions. Handling tuning. Minimum speed slightly reduced, fixed an issue where the dart was not logging onto enemy players. So yeah, that's really, really good that the dart is now a lot better and a lot more efficient than what it used to be because it literally used to be you just throw it in the air and like nine times out of ten you just run into a wall or run into a tree or just run into something in front of you because you just couldn't control it because the controls are all stuffed up you couldn't lock onto any enemies you had to find them themselves it was nothing like the hunter killer now it's a little bit like the hunter killer even though i wish you could have just threw it up in the air and it got and went and killed people. Next up, guys, we have the Talon or Talon. And that got an AI control damage slightly increased. So that means that the Talon is a little bit stronger when it's not being controlled by yourself. So it's a little bit stronger when it's being controlled by the AI. Next up, guys, we have the Mothership. This got three increased number of missiles required to destroy by two. Owner turret explosive bullets damage increased. Owner rocket turret projectile speed increased. So it got three buffs right there. And the mothership needed that. It's supposed to be the best score streak in the game, the highest score streak you can earn. So once you earn that, you should be in it for a while and actually get a lot of kills with it. So that's really cool. It's gonna take at least four rockets now to shoot it down. And that's a lot of gunfire with bullets. So that's really awesome that they increased the damage um, that the mothership actually takes. And also like the damage that the turrets and stuff take on the side of it. Next up guys, we have the Hellstorm. This really needed a buff. And it did cluster bomb explosive damage increase. That's really awesome that the Hellstorm got that buff. And I was trying it out uh, earlier and it's actually really, really powerful now. Especially if you cluster it right next to the ground. I was getting a lot of triples, a lot of doubles. And that wasn't in their spawn. It was like with people a little bit far away. And then I got triples and doubles. So it's back to its our old self almost. Like it's not going to be ever as good as it was in the beta. But it's back to what it used to be within Black Ops 2. Next up guys, we got the Rolling Thunder with 4. Explosive radius per drone increased. Explosive damage per drone increased. Added four pairs of drones, health per drone increased. So that got four buffs, and the Rolling Thunder really, really needed this. Like, you put it down, and they're like planes, for God's sake, that are going down on the ground and exploding. Like, they should have a massive radius killing people, but most of the times, people did not get killed with it. I have never run this score streak. I've gotten it twice out of a care package, and I think I got three kills or something out of both of those. So hopefully, the Rolling Thunder is a bit better than it used to be. Next up, guys, is the Cerberus. So that's the little robot thing on the ground. It's got two. It got increased missiles required to destroy by one and increased EMP grenades required to destroy by one. So that means it's just a little bit tougher and will last a little bit longer. Next up, guys, we have the GI unit. This got three also. Increased number of war machine hits required to destroy. Slightly increased duration. Slightly decreased time stunned when hit by an EMP grenade. So that's three buffs right there for the GI unit. And that's really awesome because the GI unit's a really, really good score streak. And if you get it and you set it to patrol mode, it's going to get you a lot of kills, and that's really awesome that most of that stuff got nerfed off it. Next up, guys, we got the UAV. 
Now this is very funny because it, all it got was increased base health, which means it just lasts for longer than it has before. Next up guys, we have the counter UAV, increased base health also, so it just lasts a little bit longer. And also both of those just take, I think it's two rockets now to shoot down, I'm not sure. Next up guys, we have the Wraith, increased base health and fixed an issue where the flak drone would not intercept incoming missiles. Do not know what that even means, but increased base health, I believe, means it needs more rockets to shoot down. Next up, guys, we have the wrap. This is the second last score streak that has been buffed and nerfed. Increased number of missiles required to destroy deploy ship by one. Increased health per drone. Explosive damage per drone increased. So four, um, three buffs, sorry, for the wrap. So when the plane's coming in, you won't be able to shoot it because that came out in the patch. And then it would take three bullets and also probably other bullets to kill it. Three rockets, that is. Sorry, I said bullets. But yeah, three rockets and probably bullets to kill it. And also the rats have got extra health and also bigger blast radius. So they're actually going to be very, very powerful now, hopefully. And last but not least, guys, we have the lightning strike. Reduce the time between target selection and payload delivery. So that's really good. That means that when you pull out your thing and then you like put all your lightning strikes down and then they come in, they come in really quickly. So as soon as the announcer says friendly lightning strike coming in, like they're already dropping. So people don't really get time to react. And that that's good because he does say a thing before the lightning strike comes in that you are aiming. And that really gives the opponent a signal to go inside and everything, which is kind of shitty. But hopefully they fix that in the next patch. So anyway guys, that is all the score streaks that have been patched and nerfed. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. If you guys wanted to give this video a huge thumbs up, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. All your support on my videos helps me out. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to watch my recent Black Ops 3 videos you may have missed, especially the guns that I uh, focused on yesterday in the patch, like what have buffed and nerfed in the guns. And also just check out my other recent Black Ops 3 videos. I've been doing a lot of cool stuff on my channel. So make sure to subscribe today. As always, guys, this has been your boy, Wizzy. I'll catch you guys in my next game.